I've always wanted to get better at Valorant, to play on a stage in front of people and have swift play ego screaming my name. The only issue is that I'm hard stuck Ascendant 1 with the same amount of bitches as you. But starting today, I will make a change. I will reach my dream rank. So I'm getting coached by the rank 1 player for the next 7 days to see if I have any potential to go pro, or I should just go back to playing Minecraft. In total, I have over 200 hours in ranked Valorant and I've managed to peak Ascendant 1. But since this is literally my full time job, I definitely should be a higher rank. So now it's time that I'm gonna lock in and really start trying. So Poppin is currently the rank one player and who would be better to teach me how to improve at this game. He recently made a guide on how to improve and I'm going to be using it. So I spent all of my time on the first day watching, taking notes and practicing what he taught in the guide. And it felt like there were a lot of things that I didn't think about prioritizing that I should be. And one of those was that my mindset was completely wrong. Instead of blaming my teammates every time they do something bad, I need to focus more on myself and why I'm not playing better or getting more kills. So I watched a game I played a few days ago to see specifically what I was doing wrong. I was always getting overwhelmed by what my teammates were doing and would die in stupid ways. So for my next game, I tried to focus on only how I was playing. Oh, and you guys should subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to hit 100k subscribers by the end of the year. Also, check out my Twitch in the description. One's double doors. Mid double door. I, I was moving. This is no problem. Holy shit. Holy yeah, fuck! Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I think this was probably my best game I've ever had. I literally had two aces and went 34 and 10. Somehow I only gained 21 RR, so I'm still pretty far away from ranking up. But I queued again with some more confidence and played Jet. But I guess I should just stick to playing Sentinel. And after that loss, I'm back down to my D rank game to Diamond. I ended up taking the two day break, and when I came back, I lost both my games that I played. So far, I haven't really been able to use the guide to improve how I'm playing, so I made sure to rewatch everything again. And when I next played a ranked game, I made sure to stay confident and not blame my teammates. And let's just say this game went pretty good. Oh. One I think this just means that I should stick to playing Sentinels because that's the only time I can actually play well. I'm also still two games away from getting back up to Ascendant and it didn't help that I lost my next game. I probably should have played better but Ascent is also my worst map. I then also played awful for my next three games where I won one, lost one and drew one. All of which I didn't get a positive KD. So I knew something needed to change about what I was doing. And from what I could tell it was how I played when I was on anyone other than Cypher. So I spent a few hours learning how to play Killjoy for Ascent and then went into my first game. which somehow ended up being what I practiced. One enemy remaining. 
so it turns out I still have a lot to practice. But since I really wanted a win, I went into another one and I was back on Cypher. Maybe I might just be better staying with Cypher on every game I play because I queued another one and won again while playing him. And now that I'm back on my rank up game, I got brave and played Killjoy. And we lost it of course. I don't even know why I keep playing this game. Even though my rank hasn't improved, I still think this guide has really helped me out. It made me think of how I play Valorant in a different way and has made me think more about my mental state when I play rank. And even though it's over 7 days since I started using this guide, I managed to finally understand more about the game and played some of the best Valorant I've ever played. On my 8th day, I finally got a win on Ascent with Killjoy and then also got this really good game with Cypher again where I died only once. But finally, on my 10th day, this was my favourite game I'd played. GG. Oh my god, I'm back. I'm so back. Yeah, so I got back into Ascendant. But honestly, this guide is pretty good. I wasn't sponsored or anything, and I think this would genuinely help anyone that uses it to get better at Valorant. And if you want to watch what happens when you use intense aim training for seven days, watch the video on screen right now.